Hi, how's it going folks? I'm Scott Stragon and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica, my modded Let's Play. Yeah, so I just want to run over a couple of wee bits and pieces before we get started. Um, I have uh, thrown down another box because we have been out gathering boomerang fish uh, because of our, our shortage of crystal. So we now have another box that's filling up with our biofuels, our bioproducts, and they're running our biogen uh, bio generators. Um, yes, I was talking the last episode regarding a special suit. And there it is there. The warp stabilization suit. Basically you need the reinforced dive suit, the reinforced gloves, all of the ah, that stuff. <laughs> An ion cube, a couple of aerogel and a wiring cap. And basically that stops the warp from pulling you out of the sea moth. Which is a really good thing. And it stops you warp getting warped everywhere as well. So that is pretty good. Um, but the only other thing I have done is up here. I just finished that top tank. I just finished. We were half. We weren't really finished it the last time, but I've just finished it off. So yeah, that brings you up to date. Um, yeah, we want to. I'm going to move these stairs. I, d I don't like these stairs there. And if I put them over here, they're just going to be. Yeah, they're just going to be in the place. So, I'm going to put a hatch in that tank, in this tank, and then it means I can go up to the top. I put another hatch in the, up the top, and I can come out. Same way with both tanks. So, that'll be quite good for a minute. We can put the hatch in there. We've, as I said, I've been out gathering a load of um, boomerang fish. I don't know what we'd do without that mod, uh, the fish to resources mod. I really don't. I'd still be out there now trying to gather a crystal for this space, to be honest, I think. Um, right, so we need, I think it's one of these Yes it is, and where do we want it? Do we want it on the side? Or I think we just we just go in there. Right, well that's just titanium. I thought that was in me. Right. So we'll do one there. Come to this side. We'll do one there. No power. No one power. Right. And then we'll just resemble it again. Put one there, and I'm going to remove these stairs. And it means to get up into this area, I've just got to swim up through the tank, which is not a big problem. So, there we go. So, all we do in are the alien containment, and it's huge because there's two, two big ones stuck together, which is good. And my first addition into this tank, right, I won't be moving this anyway, um, is my wee pal that my Seamoth sacrificed itself for. Um, yeah. You've got to have a cuttlefish. I just don't know how to do it now. I just drop this now, eh? Right? What's it doing over there? Yeah, I think you just... Right, so we've got... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16... 16, 32 spaces. Yeah, he's cool. Aye, he's alright. <laughs> 
Yeah, the coolest thing in Subnautica, the cuddlefish, is absolutely cool. excellent. Or the aero gel. Let me just check that. I know the wiring kit's silver. Aero gel. Um, or the beanies are just like in the fabricator, aren't they? Don't get off. Right, we need that, which is gold and hydro hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is the, the mushrooms, right? The aerogel is the gel sac and the ruby, which we've got gel sacs, we've got rubies, so there's no problem making them. So it's just a case of nipping now, grabbing some, some deep shrooms from our garden. Boom. Boom. One of them. This should be us now. Because I have... Alright, no. Because you've got to scan or kill a warper before you can make this. And I've already scanned a warper, so I'm hoping... Oh, there we go. There we are. Or war pursuit. Excellent. Next colours. Right, so there we are, we're purple now. Uh, protection from being displaced by teleportation technology works with the warp stabilization suit. Protection from displaced by teleportation technology. In other words, the warper can't warp us anymore. Which is cool. Right, so from what I can gather over day is go cool. Uh no. Oh wait a minute, we're gonna to have to get the eggs for them, aren't we? I think. No. Right. Okay. Game's a bogey with that one. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to get eggs. Hmm. Not good. Not good, not good, not good. What do boomerang fish eggs look like? Surely they... Surely they can't be that hard to spot. I need to actually get the wiki out for that and actually get proper look to see. Right. There we go. Right, so we want at least four. So two. Right, we'll take this one. The corresponding walls as well. The rest This takes us up to 77.5, which is pretty good. My fluids are already up, we'll get this done quickly. I know we're, <laughs> I know we're, it seems like you defeat the purpose, but you've got to, once you, once you weaken the place, you've got to strengthen it then just to weaken it again, sort of thing, if you know what I mean. Uh, it does seem like it's defeating the purpose. Right, so there we go. I might actually put more fish tanks up there, really. It seems to be, at the moment, I think this is just going to be one huge aquarium in here. Uh, more different fish tanks. I know we've got a wee area of fish tanks, but yeah, we need, we need more. I'm using too many resources. And we're not gaining enough. Because we need to head to 
back down to trench because that key card that we got, we were right at the gate. So I know pretty much how to get straight down to that and back. I could go with the sea glide, but if I can remember correctly, that place is absolutely filled with water and there's no like air pockets or that. I can't remember if there's air pockets, I don't think there was. Right, let's have a look. Right, okay, we can't make the Odyssey. I would like to... I would have liked to build that. I will build that eventually. But, yeah. I'll see what that is. Um, so, we need depth modules. We need... Defensive things. Right, I'm gonna see if I can get this to reset. So there we go, it's sorted that again. I don't know why it keeps doing it, uh, it is a bit annoying. Um, in fish tank, because we can only place eggs from what I can, from what I've seen there. We can only place eggs in the in the big ones, which is a shame. Because I was hoping they'd just throw in fish and get loads of wee fish. But. I'll do it this way until I can find our eggs, um, which I'll probably need to, to do off a camera. Right, there we go, they two are in there, sorted. Now I'll go and turn these into goodies. So we can fire in. We'll fi fire in the step gauge. Then I need to get a drink, and I think I'll call it quits. As I say, I'm at work tomorrow all day, so I am trying to get this done tonight. Get it edited and then I can pop it up when I get home for work tomorrow. Just a quick once over. I should really name it Seamoth the Third. Right, folks. As I say, I do apologise, it's not been too exciting, but we do, we have made some progress. We've got our cuddlefish up there waiting for some pals <laughs> um, eventually it'll hatch I think it's like 5 days or something 5 in game days or something for it to hatch so we'll leave him in there he's quite happy the now uh, we need to find a lot of other eggs the boomerang fish and stuff or we just keep working with the wee tanks for them and if we do find eggs we might as well just grab eggs and throw them in and see what we get I it's, it's getting a bit grindy now with the amount of quartz I'm needing for the glass for the base. But we are working towards it, we are getting there. I'm, I'm trying not to do it. Basically, if I do anything, I'm trying to show you. The struggle is actually pretty struggly there now. Um, but we are getting there. Um, but we've got our third sea moth up. Seamoth the third. Right, I'll change his name to that. We need to get out into the blood kelp forest. And I'm really skeptical of taking the, the sea moth with me. I'm tempted just to go with the with the sea glide and just swim it to find these this these other wrecks and stuff, but Seamoth would be handy so I could get back in and get air. 
But anyway, we'll get there eventually, we'll figure everything out as we go along, and yes. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, does channel wonders. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, we subscription is most welcome and totally appreciated. Also, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any episodes, any upcoming footage, shenanigans, anything like that. And leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I do reply to all my comments. It'd be great to hear from you. And once again, a big shout out to everybody who subscribed recently. Fantastic. And yeah, big thank you for all the likes, the comments, and everything else. Absolutely awesome, folks. Thank you very much. Take care. Stay safe. Catch you in the next one.